Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Physics Videos. Today we'll be discussing about practice problems related to Sawat or kinematic equations for our body moving horizontally. So let's see what all questions will be covering in this video. The first question, a body starts to slide over a horizontal surface with an initial velocity of 0.5 meter per second. You can see a body here which starts to slide over a horizontal surface with an initial velocity that means u is given as 0.5 meter per second. Due to friction, its velocity decreases at the rate of 0.05 meter per second square. So as we need to find the time that it will take the body to stop, so when a body comes to rest or stop, then the final velocity is zero. So that means the final velocity is zero. And what about this parameter? I would like to tell you that if you get confused to analyze which one is velocity and which one is acceleration, so just check the units here. The one uh, which has second square is an acceleration, whereas if there is just one second, then it is a velocity. So here, as the units is meter per second square, so it represents the acceleration and here the velocity is decreasing so that means this is negative acceleration or retardation. So first of all let us light what is given and what needs to be fine. Here the initial velocity is given as 0.5 meter per second the final velocity is zero as I've discussed here and the acceleration is minus 0.05 meter per second square because as the velocity is decreasing it is negative acceleration or retardation so it will be having this negative sign and we need to find the time so here the units are same so we need not to do any kind of units conversion we will just use the SWAT equations to get the value of time before proceeding further I would like to tell you that there's a common mistake that everybody does here I have written most of uniform acceleration that a is zero it is not uniform acceleration it is uniform velocity that means a body moves with uniform velocity when acceleration is zero that means initial and final velocity will be same then only acceleration will be zero so it is not uniform acceleration it is uniform velocity but in this case the initial and the final velocities are different so we will not consider this parameter now which SWAT equation to use? In this question initial velocity is given, final velocity is given and negative acceleration is given but there is no distance so we will not be using these two SWAT equation which requires their uh, value of distance covered so we will be using this one to get the answer that is V is equals to U plus AT so V is zero u is 0 0.5 meter per second and the acceleration is minus 0 0.05 meter per second square into time so if i just rearrange this equation take uh, this value here this will be minus 0 0.5 meter per second that is equals to minus 0 0.05 meter per second square into time so here time will be equals to minus 0 0.5 meter per second here minus 0 0.05 meter per second square so on solving this we will get the value as 10 seconds so the time taken by the body to stop is 10 seconds the next question a racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square. You can see here a racing car having a uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square. What distance will it cover in 10 seconds after their start? So if we consider those important points then when a body starts from rest then initial velocity is zero and here in the question it is given that what distance it will cover in 10 seconds after the start so that means the initial velocity is zero and time taken is 10 seconds so now first of all let us write what is given and what needs to be fine here as discussed initial velocity zero time 
uh, taken by the car is 10 seconds and the acceleration is given as 4 meter per second square and we need to cover the distance. Here in this question the acceleration is positive because the initial velocity is zero and then the car started accelerating that means the final uh, velocity is increasing at the uniform rate and the units are same here the time is given in second and the acceleration is given in meter per second square so we need not to do any kind of conversion here we will just uh, use the SWAT or the kinematic equations to find the distance covered before proceeding further I would like to tell you here that there is a common mistake that everybody does here I have written moves to uniform acceleration it is not acceleration it is uniform velocity when acceleration is zero that means when initial and final velocities are same then the acceleration is zero but in this case the final velocity is not given the initial is given as zero so we will not consider this parameter now which SWAT equation we will be using we need to find the distance so either we will be using this equation or this one now initial velocity is given time is given and acceleration is given so as time is given so we will be using this equation to uh, find the value of the distance covered so it will be s is equals to ut plus half a t square so this will be equals to 0 into t plus half acceleration is given as 4 meter per second square into time square so this will be equals to half into 4 meter per second square into 100 second square so on solving this we will get the value as 200 meter so this is the required answer Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.